Hello, this is uh, the Arizona Cardinals at Miami Dolphins, you know, score prediction video. It's going to be really, it's going to be kind of quick because like, I'm, or I'm getting like a stream set up here. So, and it's not going to be super edited either because other things. And also I am trying my 4K 30 FPS mode on my link, Insta360 link. So this is why it might look a little bit weird. It might not look super smooth as usual, but real quick. I'm gonna get the score right out of the way, right off the bat. Okay, right off the bat. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into it. That's gonna go first and foremost. I think the Dolphins with Tua back are still probably gonna lose. Unfortunately, I want to root for my Dolphins, but until I see the, them play better, I think they're gonna lose. So I'm thinking it's gonna be like the Dolphin or the. Uh, I think it's gonna be like thirty-four to like seventeen. Cardinals win, I think, just because, like, I am a Dolphins fan that's absolutely, you know, distressed, disorganized, and pretty much in the sense of depressed, because it is, uh, you know, not very nice with, you know, how they've been, you know, playing lately, and all the injuries, now we're talking about the other stuff, now we have all these injuries, and this is definitely not an alcoholic beverage, not at all, it's very good, though. Whatever that was. <laughs> uh, Dolphins are extremely injured. We lost like three more players last week. Um, Zach Sealer is going to be out for some time. Braxton Berrios is out for the season. Uh, Javon Holland, I don't know if he's, if he's going to be playing or not. I think he still has an issue with like a uh, finger bone uh, being broken. So I don't know on that. Tua Tungavaloa is going to be back. He's going to be playing. But that also has Tyler Huntley, who is so far the best backup quarterback we've had on the roster in a little bit, is gonna be is now on IR as well, while also having Sky Thompson also technically still injured. And so that means most likely the quarterback behind Tua, in case Tua somehow doesn't learn to slide, or hits his head and can, gets concussed again. The next quarterback up is uh, Tim Bowell or Bowell or whatever. Boyle. Tim Boyle. Eh. Offensively and defensively, the Dolphins are... Uh, the defense, they were showing stats. The defense for the Dolphins is like top tier this season so far. It's, it's like really good. But the offense is so fucking bad. <laughs> so fucking bad. Like, the worst game the Dolphins' defense ha had was against the Bills. Obviously. Had to be against the Bills. Hmm. Whatever. Have they gone up against any real good team either other than the Bills? Not really. But, you know, come on, man. Like, seriously? I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> but, offensively, the Dolphins have, are, have been injured left and right. The offensive line, I think, is healthier now. And with Raheem Mostert coming back and Achan back and, um, you know, Jalen Wright being good. Now we just have to see if maybe our tight ends stay healthy and our freaking wide receivers stay healthy. Because guess what? Tyreek Hill showed up on the injury report, report this, re this week. We lost Braxton Berrios. Um, and we basically have just, we basically have Tyreek Hill. If, actually, if Tyreek Hill doesn't go, we have Jalen Waddle. O Obel, Obel, o Odell, 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 not Obel, Obel, baby, Odell, uh, er, uh, uh, maybe Eric Nzinkima, he unless he's still injured, I can't remember, uh, Malik Washington, and then uh, somebody we picked off, off the, I think, I don't know what he, who he is, I, I can't think of it right now, um, but our offense is going to be gimped a little bit when it comes to, you know, offensive potential if Tyreek Kill doesn't play, but I'm pretty sure he's going to play regardless, especially since two is back. The Cardinals are a good but not good team. They're kind of like depending on the day of the week, like it, depending on the day of the week or what week it is of the schedule, they're either freaking phenomenal or they're... How are you even in the NFL? It's just back and forth. I don't know. I'm just going off of what I've I've seen and how they've been the last couple seasons with Kyler Murray. It's weird. 
Uh, but still, I think if the Dolph- if if Tua comes back, because he's going to be playing tomorrow, if he comes back and he plays, um, bleh, oh, they're definitely going to lose. But if Tua comes back and for some reason everything clicks, everything clicks. I don't know if the Cardinals could actually stop the Dolphins' offense. Their defense is bad. Their offense is okay, but they're going to be going up against a defense that's like top five in several stats, top ten in some other stats, and then, to be honest, bottom of the league in like uh, like two or three stats. I know sacks and quarterback hits, they're at the bottom of the league, but in the secondary, they are fucking top tier right now. But I think... Other than my prediction, I think it's going to, going to 100% depend on the offense with Tua back under center. I think that is what's going to be the major point. Like I said, I think I think the Dolphins are going to lose. I don't have faith right now, but if Tua comes back and the offense clicks, like I said, I don't know if the Cardinals could stop them. I don't know how many teams could stop a 100% efficient, like 100% working correctly Dolphins team. And I'm not saying that that they ever have been 100% or they will be 100%. I'm meaning like a team where that's actually competently moving the ball down the field consistently, like they should be, but haven't been. I think then it becomes a different scenario entirely where it's like well now the defense gets rest and the offense is actually moving the ball and getting points on the board so i think i think i know it's a bit longer than i was suggesting but i think if everything goes correctly with Tua's return if everything goes correctly everything goes smoothly and the offense starts moving the ball the way it used to and with the way the defense is playing right now Regardless of, you know, the defensive line having so many fucking injuries right now. I think the Dolphins could win pretty... I could see the score being flipped easily against the Cardinals. I could see it flipped. If the offense does work with Tua and at center. That's all I'm saying. I can't tell. I don't know. I'm just going off of my pessimism and my my depresso espressos. I do think the Cardinals are going to win. I think it's going to be a wide margin, because why not? And I just hope I am wrong. I am hoping I am wrong. So with that, thank you for watching. If you like, leave a like. If you dislike, leave a dislike. Links more. Subscribe. All that nonsense. Um, I do this every week for the Dolphins games. Every Saturday, upload a new video. Unless it's like a Thursday night football game, then it's going to come up on Tuesday or Wednesday. And I try to stream, I'm going to be trying to stream every single Dolphins game of the live reaction of the season, except for the Cardinals Dolphins game. I'm going to be out of town, unfortunately. So, yeah, I'm not going to be here to do that one, but, you know, I do do them all the time. So, with that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, and go Dolphins.